Whoa. What the hell is that all about? Why was it blinking like that? What a day it's been, eh? Like, what a day. It's been a fucking... Like, I haven't done anything. I've just been walking around lost. I'm in a place called Lost Cristiano. And uh, I'm not feeling it. The beach is fucking amazing. I like, literally, the beach is amazing. It's like sandy beaches. You've got people playing beach ball. Or volleyball, I mean. And, uh, yeah... Yeah, so it, the beach is, is, is saying a lot. But before I come here, the whole day was just stress, 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 stress. I was just stressed the whole day, and it's just like, oh, mate. Obviously, mountains, wherever you look, as I say. So it's nice. So you take time to smoke a fag, and you just, like, think about where you are, and you're like, all right, fine, fair enough. Like, do you know what I mean? There's so many times where I've been stressed, and it's like, I could have been anywhere. Like, I could have been anywhere, so... <clears throat> Especially if it's not a nice area or it's cold, but it's fucking boiling up. Just fucking stand under a tree. And, uh, yeah, I come down to the south. I was in the north, and then I was getting a bit tired and cold, so... And I'd been in the mountains the whole time, so... I'd given back the bike. I had bike blues. And, uh, yeah, I was like, this is dead, so I'm going to at least be in the sun. And then got another bike in the south, but it just took me fucking, like, five hours to get it. And uh, instead of five minutes... <laughs> So it, next time I will know, like, I know where to get a bike. I know where to get a bike. I'm going to make friends with a guy. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep going there, keep going there, keep going there, and hopefully, hopefully just knock more and more off each time. And um, it's not to say that it's going to be cheaper every time. It's just to say that, like, the longer I rent it for, the cheaper it is. So, yeah. But so far, he's the cheapest at 35 euros a day. So hopefully I can get it down to like 25 or 30 in a bulk, um, in a bulk purchase, a uh, bulk rental, I mean. But yeah, otherwise I'm pleased to have rented it. It's just annoying because I was hoping to be able to done stuff today and I haven't, so. But it's all good. I'm going to get some water as well because I've got no liquids. Ugh, fucking. Yeah, rinsed all my cash. Just because I couldn't be fucked. I couldn't be fucked anymore. To be an adult. Couldn't be sensible. And, uh, yeah, I was doing my din without fucking just getting a bus. Like a fucking idiot. And uh, not knowing where I'm going. Not knowing how to get off the bus. Not topping up my card and just paying for singles. Oh, just loads of different things. It's just... And then it's just long. Like, I just need to learn to do it, but just... I just... I mean, it's difficult as it is anyway, just to get the bus around here because the service is good, but just it's just it's just not as adequate. Like it's just not as ideal. Like whereas the bike, it just gives me that less headache. Like literally less headache. Like right now, I know that no matter where I need to go to, I'm gonna go by bike and I'm gonna be there within minutes. Like rather than thinking, fuck, I gotta walk now. Like what's the time? Where's the bus stop? Where's it gonna stop? Where's it gonna take me? What's the single? What's the price? Should I just walk? Like, do you know what I mean? And that's why it's just quicker for me to just walk. That's why I've been walking all day. Cause by the time I wait for the bus and do this and do that and blah, blah and pay, it's like, I couldn't just walk, like I just walk. But it's just like, ugh, so fucking ugh. But like I said, the scenery is amazing. So I cannot complain at all. No, I cannot complain. <clears throat> I'm happy to be here. I've been staying out of my own head, but then recently I've been in my own head. And um, I've temporarily just switched up accommodations. I've just been staying down in the south. And um, it's a shared accommodation. And, uh, yeah, obviously when you live with someone else, it's always a bit like, weird and just... Yeah, that initial stages, so I don't know. Like, I don't know about it, but here's what it is at the moment. But, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But like I said, I haven't fucked myself completely, but I don't know. It just makes me, like, think I should, um, maybe I should come back and then da-da-da-da-da. But it's not bad, bad, but just today, like, when it went wrong and I was just so stressed and it didn't even go wrong badly, I just got lost and couldn't find my way. And um, I was getting frustrated with myself because I knew it was really simple how to get there. I can walk it. 
but it's just the roads and the navigation, it just wasn't, it's not downloading in my head, mate. Like, it's just not downloading in my head at the moment. Like, like I know, I know the south of Costa Radecki. I know a little bit of a Decky village, Lacaletta. And then I know Puerto de la Cruz in the north. I know Abadez, where the abandoned houses are, because I've been up and down there by bus so many times. I know Santa Cruz. Um, and that's it. Like, that's it. But like, I don't, I don't know where I'm going. Like, it's really pissing me off. And I'm on my own as well, so it's like, ah. And I'm just really nervous, like, to make friends and just, like, speak the language and, like, do you know what I mean? And at uh, the times so I've t- tried my Spanish, it's been fine and people have been really excited. Like, And especially that guy, like, do you know what I mean, that sent me and, like, do you know what I mean, that really encouraged me because, like, he sat me down with his family and, like, they was having a barbecue and, like, it was lovely. Like, it was really nice. I was really welcoming, like... So, I've had a good experience. Like, literally, I've had a good experience. And there's been no, like, craziness. Like, I've done mad things and the videos are sick. But there's no, like, getting arrested. There's no problems with the police. There's no, do you know what I mean? Breaking into places and fucking stealing shit and fucking not having any money to eat. And, like, do you know what I mean? I've been okay. Like, I've been okay. It's just, I'm still me in it. So, when things go wrong and I get lost, it stresses me out. And sometimes I make it into a mountain when it's a mole hill. I like, really and truly, like, it's literal terms. It's not even like a, I'm, oh, you're, you're overreacting. Like, I do, generally, I know I overreact over certain things and I just get amped up more and more and more. So I, when I see myself, I just need to snip it. But obviously, when I've got the bike and I've got, yeah, accommodation is good, but I'm, I'm all right. Do you know what I mean? I'm all right. Like, after a while, it would get a bit long. It would get very long, especially during the days when it's hot, if you've got nowhere to be and shelter from the sun. Um, but otherwise, you know, there's plenty of places that you can go, um, but it's just transport. You need the transport. Like, you can do about the accommodation here, but you can't do about the transport. You can't be out with nowhere to stay and be homeless and and not have transport of your own, no way. Like, you can do it, but you just, you'd just be sat in the sun all day long because you won't want to go anywhere. Like, it's just too fucking long. And then you get a bus and then you fucking, do you know what I mean? You're just wasted money, which you could be spending on other things, food and whatever, water. I mean, bottle of water is only one euro, but do you know what I mean? Like, if you spend five euros on some bullshit, that's five bottles of water, then you're fucking sat there fucking sweating it out. No, no, bro, it's long. But I've learned all of this now, but I've done it in the freezing cold, like in icy conditions rather than in warm conditions. But it's the same shit no matter where you are. So it's not, it's not an ideal situation. But I'm I'm more, I'm okay for now. Like, I'm I'm good. Like, I'm very good. But I've been really been thinking about it in terms of local living, and um, I haven't really. Uh, I've been trying. Like, I've been trying to make an effort and speak the language and mix with the locals, but. It's difficult. Like, it's difficult for me sometimes to talk to people. But, um, like, initiate a conversation. Like, someone comes up to me and asks me questions. But I've noticed, yeah, sometimes when I'm in the street, like, I'll be sitting here now as I am now, just chilling. As you can see, people are walking up and down. Like, it's not busy, but, you know, there's people. Like, people will come up to me, yeah, and they'll only come up to me if they're just fucking saying some madness. Like, I've had it, yeah, where they're like... People have only spoken to me just to be saying some madness and it's like, what are you on? But it's just like, yeah, so you have to be careful as well. It's just like, everything you've got to be mindful, 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 mindful. And I just fucking, yeah, this is new for me. Like, it's new for me to be able to go abroad on my own and everything be fine. And I can sit here and I know, right, these are the places I'm going to be staying and I'm going to go there and that's where you're going to sleep and you're going to get your head down and you're going to stay there overnight and not go anywhere, <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Not put myself in prison, but just have that discipline. Do you know what I mean? Have that discipline to be like, right, okay, even if you're not sleeping, you've got to be in by a certain time and not just roam in the streets, because otherwise you buck up on people that will cause you problems. Like, people are not always nice. Like, all these people that are out now, they're not all out with good intentions. Like, yeah, it looks fine and calm, but after a while, if I'm sat here for two hours, three hours, like, you'll notice some dodgy people, mate, and you've got to be careful. They'll fucking do you in, mate. Like, literally, they'll just do you in. So, 
Anyway, we're going to continue on. We're going to roll it up a slip. And yeah, I'm just going to make small portion, short section videos for now. <clears throat> because um, I'm running out of memory on the GoPro. And at some point I want to go swimming and I'd rather record my swim session than just randomly just record the street. And yeah.